Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fragrance review. I'm Max Forte. You guys know I love fragrance and love to talk to you guys about all things fragrance. Today, we're going to talk about the Gimme 5, which is a series on this channel that hasn't been made in quite a while, but I've had a lot of requests, especially from this house, and I couldn't believe that I haven't actually covered the house of Guerlain. So without any further ado, guys, let's hop into the best Gimme 5 from the house of Guerlain. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte. The concept of the Give Me Five, if you're not familiar with this type of videos, the series on this channel, which I've covered a ton of fragrance houses, dozens of them, so go check it out. The main houses have been covered, but I couldn't believe myself when I saw that I have not yet talked about Guerlain. So the concept here is to talk about the top favorite five fragrances from any particular brand that I absolutely love and could not live without. In this case, the house of Guerlain. Now, Guerlain is a fragrance house that needs no introduction. They've been around since 1828 but a fragrance brand that is absolutely loved by most and adored by many. You know, over the years, of course, these top five are just my favorite. It's not the end all be all Guerlain, you know, top five of all time. Perhaps it is for me, but there's going to be some fragrances that are not gonna be featured here. Don't despair, don't get upset. Most likely I do enjoy them. They're just not the ones that I reach out for the most. So with that out of the way, let's hop into the choices. A quick summarized version of the history of this incredible brand, you know, Guerlain, it started in 1828 by Pierre-Francois Pascal, and he mostly did hygiene uh, type products, but he did actually was commissioned to do some perfumes on a bespoke manner, and people loved his creations so much that he was actually the official perfumer of many of the royal courts of France and adjacent countries. Quick fun fact here, not only did, you know, Guerlain created the, the Guerlinade, which is known as one of the best, you know, compounds ever made in the world of perfumery, but it also was the first fragrance, uh, the first fragrance that utilized synthetics were actually made by Guerlain in 1889 with the creation Jiki, which is adored and loved by many. And the, the note that they created was coumarin, which was a synthetic molecule. And the House of Guerlain has been gracing the world and mesmerizing us with their incredible potions and creations for 193 years and counting. So with all of that out of the way, let's hop into my favorite five from Guerlain of all time. My first one here, as you could probably imagine, is from 1959. We're gonna try to do this chronologically as best as possible. If you know my taste, you know how much I love oak moss and vetiver, they're, they're my two favorite notes in perfumery. And of course, my favorite choice here is going to go to this one right here from 1959 originally, Vetiver Guerlain, Vetiver that is, created by Jean-Paul Guerlain. What I love about this fragrance is they take a few different vetivers, I think Javanese vetiver, Haitian vetiver, and they combine this fragrance with some spices, some aromatic, you know, woody compounds, and of course, a gorgeous note of tobacco, which really sets this apart from any other vetiver out there. I think the only thing that comes close to how good this fragrance is would be a vetiver release from Dior La Collection Privée which I believe was released in 2010, is the only thing that's gonna come close to the goodness and the amazing scent profile of this particular vetiver here. Now this one here, I believe it's from the 2000, early 2000, I think 2002 is when I purchased this one. There's many different variations and you know releases of the vetiver from Guerlain, all of which will smell amazing. Some a little more concentrated, some a little less concentrated, but nevertheless, they capped the original scent profile from the 1959, and that's what you're gonna get here. Just the perfect to me, and all be all, best vetiver fragrance money can buy, guys. And a lot of times you can actually find these fragrances for, not this one here because it's been discontinued, but the original formulation that you're gonna see right here on the screen can actually be found these, these days for a very cheap price, and the quality is just second to none, guys. So if you love vetiver, definitely check it out. You're gonna love it. Now we're gonna jump from 1959 all the way to 1965. When I smell this fragrance, it brings me back to a time I wasn't even alive, but I do appreciate the time because I love music, I love rock and roll. So we're talking about the Beatles, we're talking about the Rolling Stones. You know, a lot of those bands actually were this fragrance back in the day as their signature scent. In fact, this particular fragrance happens to be Keith Richards' signature scent from the Rolling Stones. And I'm talking about Habe Rouge, from Guerlain, guys. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration, an absolutely stunning fragrance. It's fruity, it's animalistic, it's a little bit aldehylic, it's spicy. There's some sandalwood here that adds creaminess to the fragrance, ton of spices like cinnamon, for example. It smells just absolutely heavenly, masculine, a little bit rugged, but with some elegance and sophistication class to the fragrance. Just uncanny, there's nothing in the world that smells quite good as Habit Rouge. 
and I highly suggest and highly recommend you guys checking this fragrance out. It's another one just like Vetiver in a bottle like this. You can actually find it as a cheapie out there and the quality is the Guerlain Cat quality that you can expect to find, which is second to none. So definitely a great timeless fragrance that I absolutely love from the House of Guerlain. If you're a fragrance head, a fragrance aficionado, this is something that you have to have in your collection. At least try it once. Habit Rouge here at the fourth spot or at the second spot, whatever you want to go, five, four, three, two, one, or one, two, three, four, doesn't matter. This is not a countdown which one is the best, but just chronologically, this is 1965. Habit Rouge, a timeless, incredible fragrance. Woody spicy is how I would classify this particular fragrance. What I love about Habit Rouge is that it's really a complex composition that really transitions on skin. It starts off citrus, a little bit floral, now the helic, then it transitions to this woodsy, uh, creamy kind of a vibe and spicy with the cinnamon that I talked about. And the base comes through with this semi-powdery, animalistic, vanilla, vetiver, oak moss combination that's just to die for, guys. Check it out, very sensual, very attractive, incredible, timeless type of a fragrance. Now we're gonna jump to 1992, perhaps one of my favorite fragrances of all time from the 90s, this particular one from 92, Heritage Eau de Toilette, Jean-Paul Guerlain, also the nose in this particular fragrance. And what this is, this is basically, oh, it smells so unbelievably good. This It's basically a woody spicy meets a fougere. It's taking that, you know, very groundbreaking but timeless profile of the fougere and adding these amazing spicy oriental kind of nuances. This fragrance has so much to offer. If you're looking for something classy that's a little bit animalistic, a little bit aldehylic, you know, when you think about Chanel, you think about, you know, Yves Saint Laurent, all these fragrances back in the 90s that were really trending, you know, with Entheas, um, Chanel Number no. 5, of course. This, this particular fragrance has borrowed elements from all the classics, hence the fact that it's called Heritage. It borrows elements from a lot of the classics within the brand to make this amazing fragrance from 1992 called Heritage Eau de Toilette. This is the original, guys. It's the original formulation from 92, and it has all the helic, animalistic undertone, wee spicy facets. It just hits you from all different angles, but it is blended to perfection. If you want a fragrance that you know, conveys elegance and timeless sophistication, I would definitely urge you guys to procure a bottle. This is actually still available today, not in this bottle, it's been reformulated, but it's still very good. It's not gonna be as animalistic, as strong as the 90s formulation, but it's still quite good. You know, the, the, the version right now is a different, more standardized bottle that Guerlain has, but you're still gonna be able to smell amazing, sophisticated, and timeless. This one here is definitely one of the best fragrances ever made for man from 1992, Guerlain Heritage. Now this next one, if you follow this channel for any length of time, you know, you guys will know that this fragrance here is one of my favorites of all time. I talked about 10 for life. I've done videos like that for you guys. And this is one that was heavily featured in such videos. This is a masterpiece of a fragrance, guys, released by Beatrice Piquet in 2005 for the House of Guerlain. She was commissioned to do this fragrance. And if you manage to find this bottle here with the darkened edge, this has been reformulated, I think, at least four times. And what you have today is a fraction of this fragrance, what it was in, in terms of smell, in terms of power, in terms of performance. But again, if you manage to find the dark edges like this, or even the second formulation, not the standardized bottles, you're going to absolutely have found gold because this stuff here is absolutely incredible. This smells of class, of sophistication. It has this almost liqueur facet, like the patchouli and orange liqueur you know, type of a vibe. You know, I, I, when I think, when I smell this fragrance, what comes to mind is uh, Incident Diplomatique from Javoy. Um, it is one of those fragrances that has vetiver, patchouli, and heavy orange up top. So it has this almost like liqueur, boozy facet to the fragrance. And of course, an amazing note of cacao, of cocoa, chocolate, you know, cocoa pods here that gives this chocolatey, almost gourmand, but mostly a woody, spicy, uh, slash oriental, not so much gourmand, because the cocoa here is gonna be more of a dry uh, cacao, but it smells absolutely heavenly. This is a particular fragrance that I think if um, Tom Ford put out and called uh, Cocoa Dreams or, 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 or Sensual Cacao or something like that, would fetch two, $300, no problem. That's why when I do find this particular fragrance here with the, with the dark and edges, even at 150 bucks or $200 full bottle, I buy it with no problems without even blinking because this is quality through and through. This is one of those fragrances that I wish 
would come back on its original formulation, just like I'm showing you guys in this video. Lundstone de Garland Eau Extreme, or simply known here in the community as Lidge. And last but not least, the last pick here, of course, from the L'Art et la Matrie, or translating to English, R and Matter, or R and, and Compound. So this particular brand here takes each compound that they absolutely love to work with and came up with this amazing L'Art et la Matrie collection that has, I think, one of the best fragrances money can buy when it comes to niche quality. Of course, it has been reformulated a few times. You know, what you find today is a little bit lighter, but it's still of great quality. And this particular one here is one that I absolutely love because I have the original bottle here from 2010. This is going to be Guerlain Tonka Imperial. This here is liquid gold, my friends. I, I cherish this here. I have since gotten a couple newer bottles and it's not as good as this one here. If you manage to find an older bottle, it is absolutely fantastic. The same goes for Spiritus Double Vanille or some of the ones that were discontinued. I think Cure Beluga was also discontinued and then brought back. Again, they don't smell quite as good and strong as once they were introduced. And this one here, Tonka Imperial, to me is one of the best, if not the best, it is the best. I have to say the original formulation here, 2010, is the best Tonka, you know, base scent money can buy. With the garlanade, the vanilla, the spices, it smells like a true liqueur, like something you actually want to drink. It smells that good. In a, in a fragrance to give you a little bit of a, a sense of what this smells like, something that comes close to this was La Collection Privé from Dior, uh, which had Fève Delicieuse, which means uh, delicious tonka beans. That particular fragrance was kind of close to what you get here with Tonka Imperial. But if you want the true tonka experience, guys, Tonka Imperial is definitely the way to go. And all be all, best Tonka fragrance in the market, period. Guys, those were the top five best Guerlain fragrances money can buy. In my honest and humble opinion, I think if you try any of these fragrances, you're not going to disappoint, especially if you have your taste similar to mine. If you like things that are sophisticated, elegant, and timeless, you're going to love every one of these particular fragrances. Of course, guys, let me know in the comments which other Guerlain fragrances you guys think I should have featured here in this top five or give me five Guerlain fragrances best of all time. Guys, sound off in the comments. As always, Show me your support if you guys appreciate what I do here, keeping you in the know, bringing you forth, you know, fragrance content on a weekly basis, guys. Don't forget to show your support. Leave me a like. I greatly appreciate the support. Touch the subscriber button for more. And of course, turn on your notification bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed. And as always, guys, remember fragrance is emotion in motion. It's an extension of who you are. So be sure to choose your fragrance wisely and wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys right back here with another video very soon. Take care.